Look, will you be absolutely genuine with me? No deception, please. I want you to do something that expresses you without the slightest deception. No more role acting, no more playing games with me. I want to see you. Now imagine. Could you really be that honest with somebody else? Especially a spiritual teacher. And you know he looks right through you. He sees all your secret thoughts. And he knows the very second when you've been a little bit phony. And that bugs you. In other words, <laughs> when you're challenged to, to be perfectly genuine, it's like saying to a child, now darling, come out here and play and don't be self-conscious. Or it's like I would say to you, now look, if you come here tonight at exactly midnight and put your hands on this stage, you can wish and have granted any wish you want, provided you don't think of a green elephant. <coughs> and so everybody will come, they'll put their hands here, and they will be very careful not to think about a green elephant. <laughs> Well, now do you see the point? That everybody, if we transfer this to the dimension of spirituality, where the highest ideal is to be unselfish, to let go of oneself, when you are trying to be unselfish, you're doing it for a selfish reason. You can't be unselfish by a decision of the will any more than you can decide not to think of a green elephant. There is a story about Confucius, who one day met Lao Tzu, who was a great Chinese philosopher. And Lao Tzu said, Sir, what is your system? And Confucius said, uh, it is charity and love of one's neighbor and elimination of self-interest. Lao Tzu said, stuff and nonsense. <laughs>